We are here. We are here. We are here with running the level, looking for market structure and patterns. Okay, guys, we are marking up EURDPY. Let's look for patterns in the market. We're going to head down to the four hour time frame. We're going to work near price action. We're going to work our way backwards. How much we can identify what's going on in that market. Join your screen back. We can identify the structure of the overall market. Price action last candle in this area right here. We have higher highs. We have lower lows. We have the midpoint. See what happened at this high that pushed that market down to a low. So market at this high, you got a double top. We have that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Okay. Once that market came for that double top, it retested second level. Uh, let's see, because if you think about, remember, we got three lines, high, mid, low. If we think about, let's mess our lines, putting a midpoint, second level in the highs, uh, midpoint, a second level in the lows, and we can clearly see what happened on the second level highs. Market came from a double top, consolidated on, on top, on, and below that midpoint line. And we finally got a breakout. So this is an area of consolidation. So when you're in that area of consolidation, all you're waiting for is to figure out the patterns in that area for that market to push in that direction. Once that market broke out of that area, for that down trend, market was respected by what um, area pushes. Area that we see right here. Market spiked up once, spiked up twice, spiked up three times. Market dropped. You want to count these two as well. Four five six we got market spiked up once twice three times four times five times six times plus market in my opinion pushed up five times got the retest in this area here market dropped down back down to the low okay um let's look at price so price went into that downtrend there's a lot of huge consolidations there, so it's a consolidation area here. Consolidation area here. That's the level we're just breaking down to new level. Broken tag level, retest the top, broken tag level, retest the top, broken tag level, retest the top, broke below that level. This time right here, broke, broke below twice. Very second, third, fourth. But right here in this area, we received a double top that pushed market price down to the lowest low. If you want to count overall, you could probably add this right here. So overall markets top in that zone or single top of the double retest and that market dropped down back up to that, back down to that area of overall lows. How many spike downs did we receive? Once, twice, three times, four times, about five, pushes, five major pushes down to that low and maybe one or two of them is spikes down, spike downs. Three was the last, fifth one was the last push for that last uh, touch and then market went up for that uptrend so market price is at the midpoint. So now we have to figure out what patterns it's trying to form near that midpoint. So the first thing we're gonna identify is that break and retest. So market did break up to the midpoint line, consolidated, broke, finally broke out, came down for the retest. This is where we look for entry for that market to break. One, two, three. Bullish candles working its way up. Three white soldiers, I think it's called. Market engulfed the previous red candle and market pushed up after the retest. That's the retest here. Market pushed up once, market pushed up twice, came back down to create some momentum. Look like it's pushing right back up. So we can see that market did do that break, came back to retest. Now we may be looking for the breakout. If it doesn't break out right here, then that means that market is coming back down for a second retest and could be breaking back out. So when you look at it overall, it's a W. It'll be, think about first leg, second leg, and then market coming back down for that third leg, if it comes down, if it doesn't break this area of this high, the market could come back up. Now it'll be a W, retest working its way up. But if the market doesn't break, we already know how many pushes on top of the area. We have one, two, three, maybe about four. That depends how far this goes, and that market's coming down. They are double top of the retest, market's gonna jump up and back down. What we need is a break and retest that bottom end. The market works way down to the next level. Okay. Very important information, guys. Please study and review for our pattern sheet, cheat sheet. Click on images. 
Very important information, guys. Please study and review breakout retest strategy when markets in that low breakout area support. What happens? Very important information for you guys to know. Hey guys, this is Cam Jones, FX, running the levels. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. E U R J P Y.